and a three, and a two, and a one, and I'm on. We're having a heat wave, a terrible heat wave. The weather is stinking, it's messed up my thinking. We're having a heat wave. So how's everybody out there in YouTube land today? It is Thursday afternoon, and I'm just sitting here waiting for the big kaboom. Hey, I'm a poet, and I didn't know it. Except I am a poet, and I do know it. But we're having a thunder and lightning storm. So I just hope that while I'm doing this video, I don't go kaboom. Okay, now, this video is not going to really be about beauty. And it's going to be about uh, dialysis. So if you're not interested in my life as a dialysis person, then you just go and find another video. And my feelings will not be heard at all. And if you're interested in what goes on in the life or what's going on at the hospital where I am having dialysis and um, then stay tuned but first of all I would really really like to thank Patty Rockstar Mom for showcasing me last Sunday in her Spreading Love Sunday she showcased myself Catherine Fisher God I hope I got your Kathy A Fisher I think it is and Kay Carter our lovely Kay Carter and I was just shocked as hell. And I got about 50 or more new subscribers. So thank you so much, Patty. And welcome, 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 all my new subbies. I hope you enjoy my channel. And it is mostly about beauty and all kinds of silliness. But today is going to be um, a different kind of topic, just because it has to be, because I just want to get a message out there. And the other person I want to thank is O'Carroll. Because old Carol is also doing something really neat. She's stealing people's sets. And you never know when she's going to be sitting in your house or in your apartment. And that's really fun to look forward to on Saturdays. So we've got two gals out there spreading the love and helping us all out. And, uh, and of course, there's the list that Carol made and all that good kind of stuff. And there's new people added to it all the time. And um, anyway, so... I have been really enjoying videos this week. I've done quite a bit of posting. Um, anyways, when I do this video, a lot of you, and I'm sorry I haven't posted back. I keep saying that. But maybe after this video, you'll understand more or less why I haven't. And it's not because of laziness. It's just because of what's going on with me and how it is very, very tiring for me to do all of that. But I have to, I'm going to hire a secretary. I'm calling the White House and I'm going to, get him to send somebody over here and I'm going to answer everybody's posts but like I said before I do read them so in my last video I explained to you all that I had rechanged my schedule I had changed my schedule from going to dialysis and those of you who don't know what dialysis is there's a video of mine uh, I think it's called living as a dialysis patient and it's because my kidneys are dead and I'm being kept alive by a machine and I've been going to dialysis for five years. Um, it's five years now. And Patty, yes, I did change my age. And I'm not 68. I'm 67. Thank you very much. I hope I live to be 68. But I'm not there yet. Anyway, so um, I changed my schedule from Monday, Wednesday, and Friday to Friday night to help out a friend. And it didn't work for me because, apart from being a dialysis patient, um let's just put it this way a lot of you know that I can't walk and when I do walk I walk with a, a frame walker the kind of walker with a seat my scooter or a wheelchair and the reason for that is is that I have really really unbearable unbelievable chronic arthritis in my legs and other things in my legs they don't know what it is my legs look totally normal and everything else except I can't wear high heels anymore um, but I do have a lot of cute shoes, but I, I basically can't walk and my legs are very, very, very sore all the time. So walking for me is just, it's a real pain in the sit upon. So apart from my legs, there's my neck and one of my arms. So what happened at the hospital was that where I go to my dialysis, I'm up on the second floor. I'm not going to name the hospital. Um, I'm up on the second floor and it's called the satellite room. It's a, it's an old, old dialysis room, and it's really small, and it gets really hot up there, but I love it, 
and I love all the people up there. There's about nine of us at one sitting, and we're like a we're like a, a family. Uh, I just lost two of my well, one that was a really really close friend, my little Soraya. She died a couple of weeks ago, and then another fellow died, Pierre. He died, and um, when you go to dialysis, it's very very. That's why when I see videos about people who have passed away and everything. It's not that I'm immune to it. It's just that I see it all the time. I see it. I see it like um, once every couple of months, somebody I know in the hospital, either upstairs where I am or downstairs in the big dialysis room, somebody dies and you don't hear about it for days. So I'm so used to people dying that when I watch a video where somebody has died, um, I guess I've just come to realize it's such a part of life and being kept alive by a machine, basically, like we are being kept alive, it is by a machine, uh, because I wouldn't have been here for the past five years were it not for the person who invented those wonderful machines. But getting back to my story, the reason I had to stop going on a Friday night was because, uh, okay, I can't name any people here, but there is a person who ordered all I'm sorry I've got a cat here or something in my face there is a person who ordered new chairs for the dialysis department which was all renovated downstairs and the chairs that we sit in are sort of like I have a a chair behind me which is one of those electric reclining chairs which I bought and I hardly ever sit in it because it reminds me of sitting in my dialysis chair but they're not half as comfortable as the one I have um, and the chair I have, it's an old, old one from when before the time they bought the last new chairs, which were about three years ago. And I have an old, old, old soft chair that goes back and sometimes it falls back and I let out a scream because I have this fear of tipping and everybody laughs their heads off. But somebody bought new chairs for the dialysis downstairs and they're supposed to be, and they, it haven't, hasn't quite filled all of the dialysis room but it is going to be filling the dialysis room, these chairs, and they're going to be coming upstairs. So when I went down to the dialysis room and um, had my dialysis, they sat me in one of these chairs. And it does not take a lot to make me cry. I am a very emotional person. I cry during commercials. I cry if I'm looking at a video and I see somebody who's really unhappy. But with my physical pain, it takes a lot to make me cry. I sat down in that chair and I was okay for about half an hour. And then I went to hell. I went to hell. My head started hurting. I don't get headaches. My back started hurting. I don't have a bad back. My bum was killing me. My legs were going into spasms. My arms were, I was, I was going crazy. My stomach was churning. I had to go to the bathroom. It was the worst three and a half hours, apart from my operation and other things in my life, that I have ever, ever spent. And in the end, I was almost screaming for them to take me off these torture chairs that this... <sighs> I don't know how anybody who was a human being could buy such chairs for people who are terminally ill, such as myself. People who are in chronic pain, such as myself, and even the ones who aren't in chronic pain, these people find these chairs abominable. They can't, they can't get comfortable. They can't, they can't, it's impossible. People are bringing lawn cushions in and everything. Nothing helps with these chairs. They look like bloody blocks of cement. And I think it is just atrocious. And I'm trying to think how me, I don't have a pot to piss in or a window to throw it out of, I would like to start a collection, and I'm not asking you, I'm not getting involved in anything to do with collecting money on YouTube, but I want to get involved in something to either buy proper cushions for these chairs for these poor people that have to sit in them, of which I'm not one right now, but I will be, and never mind me and the other ones. And we have patients there who are in their 80s and their 90s. I'm in my 60s. There's one little woman there. She comes out, and, she, and she's all bent over. She's got such a, a sore back. And she comes out and, like, when we come home from dialysis, which is another reason I don't do a lot of posting of replies, I'm up for about half an hour, and then I'm, I'm 
when you don't have any kidneys, you don't have a lot of energy. So after dialysis, let's say my dialysis, I'm gone eight hours of the day. When I come home, I lay down for a nap, and sometimes I don't wake up from my nap until 2 o'clock in the morning. And then I'm up all night, and that's great. But then I lose the next morning, and that's not great. So, but with these chairs, with these new chairs they have downstairs, it's unbelievable. And I just wish that this person who had purchased these chairs would sit her fat ass in one of them and sit there for four hours and see what we go through. And I know there's a couple of nurses who are subscribed to me, and I really don't care. Because if anybody had any kind of humanity, they would not have put those chairs in the dialysis room of the hospital room, hospital where I go to and so many others do. Because they are horrible. It's like sitting on cement. It is like sitting on cement. And I guess I'm ranting here. Sorry. So that's the one thing I wanted to talk about. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do something I've got to get. And people don't believe what these chairs are like until they sit in them. But, you know, everybody has complained. And the person who bought them, she doesn't care. Well, it's not your chair. And just get used to it. Suck it up, butterfly. Yeah, well, you suck it up, butterfly. I'll probably get thrown out of the hospital for this video. But I don't care. I really don't. The other thing is, when I started dialysis, they used to make us a nice cup of tea. The nurses were so wonderful and everything else. A lot of the old nurses, they're not old, but they've retired. And we have new nurses. And that's okay. The nurse, new nurses are going to learn. But a lot of them don't know what the hell they're doing. And a lot of them don't have the compassion that the older nurses had. And you actually, like, you'll see somebody who's just passed away. The person has just passed away, and a couple of nurses will be up at the counter, and they're laughing. They're not laughing because the person passed away. Someone just passed away. And they're laughing over something that they're talking about. They walk through they walk through our dialysis rooms holding huge cups or mugs of tea or smoothies or something. We're not allowed to drink barely anything. This is what I'm allowed to drink a day. That much fluid and maybe one cup of tea. It's inhumane. And these people have to learn that they're dealing with people and not with, with, with vegetables. We are people. We are dignified human beings sitting on a chair being kept alive by machines and most of the nurses are absolutely wonderful but you guys you gotta smarten up you gotta smarten up I just wish Mary Ellen was one of our nurses but she's retired and Chris Ann and a few other people I know here that worked in the nursing industry and then like I said before we used to get a cup of tea no more we used to bring a lunch in or something no more uh, what else? Oh, the big, the big treat we get is a little, a little cup of ice. And when we get that cup of ice, when I get my cup of ice, it's like, it's like elixir from heaven. You know, it's it's like the highlight of my day. I'm getting a cup of ice to suck on. It's not fun being on dialysis. And when I see the way some of you guys eat, the food you eat, it makes me cringe because I don't care how fat or how thin you are. You've got to take care of your body because I didn't. And I got myself, probably, into this bloody mess of being on dialysis. I don't know if I did or not. I don't know if it's hereditary. I don't know. But I know that our bodies are to be taken care of. And I'm 67 years old. And for many, many years, I abused my body. And I am on dialysis. And the people that end up on dialysis are people who eat too much sugar, who eat too much fat, who, who don't take care of themselves. And like I said, I don't care how thin, how fat, whatever you are, please take care of your bodies because you do not want to live the life of a dialysis patient because it's not a life. It's not a life. But the good side of it is, is that when you have a few days off, it's a wonderful life. So I know I'm sort of contradicting myself there, but it makes you appreciate. It really, really makes you appreciate the life that we do have the life that we do have when we're not on dialysis. And the last part is that we used to have daily visits by doctors. No more. A doctor might fly in once a week or something. They take blood tests. They take blood tests once every month. Do they come and uh, tell, tell us the results? No, no more. Why? Why is all this going on? Maybe everybody in the States thinks that in Canada we have it made. No, we don't have it made. We don't have it made. 
You should see the emergency rooms. They're just jam-packed because people cannot find a doctor here. So, anyways, I just had to get this off my system. And if any of the nurses are watching this who work with me, I hope you understand because I can't go. I'm not anybody important at the hospital. And I can't go to some big meeting and stand there and tell everybody what I think. But maybe you guys can talk among yourselves. Maybe somebody can do something to stop this, this inhumane suffering on those bloody awful, god awful chairs that you put for people to sit on and to die on because they're horrible. And I really mean that. Ah, anyway, so apart from that, it's been uh, um, um, quite a nice week. I have to go tomorrow for my tummy tummy test to see what's going on with my stomach. Hopefully it's not, not anything bad after my big major operation where they took a watermelon out of me. No, it wasn't a watermelon. It was a melon. But there's something going on with my tummy. But it's not as bad as it was, so hopefully it's nothing. And um, anyways, I guess that's it. Sorry it's not a humorous video. Um, I'm trying to think. Yeah. I'm trying to think of something humorous. And I'm, I'm not in a bad mood or anything. I just... When I come on and do a video, I never know what I'm going to say. And um, it's not about products. It's not about makeup today. Today it's about dialysis and what's going on. And um, and I'm really, really, as you, I, I guess you could tell, I'm a little bit steamed up by it. Can you tell, huh? So that's it. I hope everybody has a wonderful, wonderful Thursday. I hope that you have a great weekend. The next video I do will not be a rant. It will not be about dialysis. It'll be about something silly or makeup or whatever. And I love you all. Thank you so much, all my new subbies, for coming to my channel. And don't worry, you will not see this woman on here bitching and moaning and whining and groaning about being sick because I don't like to do that. There's enough other people on YouTube who do that, and uh, I don't do that. If, if I wanted to do that, I would be. there should be a, another section of YouTube for chronically ill people, and everybody can sit there and bitch and moan about their illness. And I don't mean that in a mean way. It's just that I know I have a lot of subscribers who have chronic illnesses and I feel really, really bad for you. And I really, really do. But to me, there's, you know, just doing this video, I hate doing this kind of a video, but I'm trying to get a point across to people who are going to watch this from other, other countries, other cities, and maybe they're going through the same thing. And somebody has to stand up. Somebody has to stand up because they have everything for, they have things for cancer, they have things for diabetes, and no, I'm not diabetic. And they have things for this and things for that. And there's not too much for kidneys, for dialysis, for kidney disease, and there should be. So my message today is, like I said once before, have a heart, give a kidney. And please don't anybody offer me your kidney. I've had uh, Kelly offer me a kidney, which was the most surprising thing that ever happened in my life. Janet offered me a kidney. Um, my son, my older son, was the first one to offer me a kidney. Five years ago, I would never take a kidney from one of my sons, and I can't have a kidney. So, but there are many, many people who can, and they start a new life. So have a heart, give a kidney, and um, I hate steak and kidney pie. I really do. I think kidneys taste like pee. So over and out. Love you all. Have a great day. And oh, mamma mia, is it hot in here? Well, it is like, it must be, I think it's almost 100. So I know what you guys are going through in the States. And I've got my air conditioning on. I'm just waiting for it to blow up and the lightning to strike. Okay, bye. Love you all. Oh, I hope this came out. Oh, my goodness, I do, I do, I do. How long have I been on here? I don't know.